The Kentucky Wildcats tip off the regular season at Rupp Arena on Friday. Fans hope the season ends with a ninth national title. John and Ellen Calipari's lives have changed since they moved to Lexington in 2009. Jennifer Palumbo sat down with the couple at their home to hear how things are going this year. For the past seven years, this has been home for John and Ellen Calipari. Sometimes people will honk, sometimes they'll yell, you know. Sometimes you get to go big blue. Just a short drive to his office in the Joe Craft Center and to Rupp Arena, the house on Richmond Road is where you'll likely find them during the little free time they have together during basketball season. We go to dinner once or twice a week out, and she's doing her little knick-knack stuff and, um, you know, doing her crafts and all the stuff she enjoys, and she's working out. and. You know, and then I've got what I'm doing. Ellen enjoys making furniture in her workshop in their basement. Her latest project is these trays. And this is done with chalkboard paint, so you can write on it and erase it. While the Hall of Fame coach is at the top of his game, Ellen is the head coach at home. He doesn't pay any bills. Never have. Doesn't do anything, doesn't do Do I cut the grass? Taxes. No. I, I did that the, for years. I do the... The gutters. No. I wash dishes. <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Well, once in a while, only pizza. Yeah. <laughs> this year, the Caliparis celebrated their 30th wedding anniversary. The boy from Moon Township, Pennsylvania, met the girl from a farm in Missouri when they were both working at the University of Kansas. He was with Coach Larry Brown, and she worked in the athletics department. Was it love at first sight? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, he used to come in the athletic business office with his fancy shoes with the tassels on and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, but he kind of grew on me. I'm sure for him it was love at first sight. I happened to be in the business office and said, who is that? Their journey from Kansas to Kentucky included several stops along the way and three children. I move over. We, we were in Massachusetts eight years. Well, we were in Pittsburgh, had Aaron. Yeah. And we were in Massachusetts. And then we were there a long years. time. And then the had Megan there. New Jersey. Yeah. Um, had had Brad, Brad there. there. Life as a coach's wife isn't always easy. It's very hard. I never had to move growing up. I lived in the same house in the same town with my family around. And then... He's got us moving around. It felt like we were gypsies <laughs> along the way. And I'll, I'll give her credit. She did a great job with our kids. I mean, I don't think I was the perfect father because of the job I'm in. As much as he is out there, I don't want to be out there. And I like my privacy. And, you know, I go someplace and, you know, he doesn't even know. I mean, I've had men come up and say stuff to me at the grocery store. About, you know, why'd we lose that game? What happened in that game? I thought you were like, going to say we're trying to pick you up. I'm uh, like, looking like, what? Well, you tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't happen? No. <laughs> <laughs>